Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Earlier we have derived the expression for the hydrostatic force acting on the submerged plane surface as well as the locations of the line of actions of this hydrostatic force. So if we just uh, recall uh, what we have obtained earlier, so we have a fluid surface and we have a plane submerged in the liquid and let's see angle at which the plane slanted with the surface is theta. So the first things that we do is we view the surface from 90 degree and we obtain this and the next thing is we determine where is the centroid of this surface and that would be our COG and the vertical distance of the centroid to the water surface is what we call H bar and the slanted distance is what we call Y bar and the force will be acting slightly below 90 degree to the surface and throw point which we call the COP and the distance between the COG and COP is what we call YCP the area of the surface is A so the magnitude of the hydrostatic force is equal to rho g h bar a and then y c p is equal to i x x over y bar a so now if you looked at a simple example say we have a rectangular surface some sort of a gate and we have water level is at the same height as the gate and we ask to determine the hydrostatic force acting on this and let's say the gate is rectangle so if you view from 90 degree normal so we have this so from here we determine the COG, this will be our COG, and straight away we obtain that this is our H bar. In this particular case, since the angle is 90 degree, H bar is just equal to Y bar, and this will be our A. So the force will be acting slightly below FH. Through this point, this is our COP, and this distance is our YCP. Right. So let's say the width of the gate is equal to B, and the height of the gate is equal to D. So straight away we can obtain expression for the hydrostatic force which is equal to rho g h bar a so in this particular case h bar is halfway through it's d over 2 a is equal to the area is bd so from there we get h is rho g d over 2 bd so that gives us fh is equal to rho g b d squared over 2. Okay, so now ycp, ycp is ixx over h bar a. So now we can obtain ixx for a rectangular surface is equal to b d Q over 12. So from there, you can get our YCP, which is just BD cubed over 12. 
multiplied by 1 over h, so it's 2 over d, multiplied by 1 over area, 1 over d, d. So that gives us ycp is equal to this cancel b 6, so it's equal to d over 6. Okay, so we can easily obtain the magnitude of the hydrostatic force, which in this case is equal to rho g d d squared over 2, and then the line of actions ycp that's equal to d over 6. Now let's consider this uh, example. In this question, it says that uh, find the magnitude of the hydrostatic force and its line of actions from the hinge. And then calculate the force F applied at the middle of the gate required to hold the gate in its vertical positions. So here we have a, a gate. This gate is F with W and height H. And the gate is hinged at the bottom here. And the water level is same level as the height of the gate. So if you think about it, there will be hydrostatic force acting about here through the center of pressure. And then this will be balanced by the force F that we apply in the middle here. So let's draw a schematic diagram of this problem. So we have this gate. And this is the bottom. The water level is up to there. And we are applying force in the middle here. F. So if you view the gate from normal directions, what we will get is Like this. This is the COG. So that means that this height is equal to our H bar. So here, given that the width of the gate is equal to W and the height of the gate is equal to H. So we know that the hydrostatic force will be acting below the COG at hydrostatic and will be acting through the COP. And then this distance here is our YCP. So we asked to find three things, FH, YCP, and then this force F that we need to apply in the middle. So now let's consider FH. FH is rho G H bar A. We have a H bar. H bar is this distance here. So this is H, so this is H over 2. A is first equal to WH. So we can get FH is equal to rho G H over 2 WH. So it's equal to rho G W H squared over 2. Okay. Then formula for YCP is IXX over y bar a, in this case y bar is equal to h bar, so we have i x x, the shape is rectangle, so it's equal to w h cube over 12. So, and then we know that y bar is equal to h bar, is equal to h over 2. So this will give us y c p 
So y c p is i x x w h cube over 12 divided by y bar. Y bar is h over 2, so it's 2 over h. Area is actually w h. So we get the value of h over 6. Okay. So this is hinge here. So we asked to calculate the value of force F here. If we consider the movement about the hinge, the hydrostatic force will create a clockwise movement, which will be equal to FH multiplied by this distance. And this will be balanced by the movement created by F, which is equal to F multiplied by this distance here. So if I call this one here R1, and distance here R2, so I can taking moment about the hinge. So I must have FH multiplied by R1 must be equal to F multiplied by R2, right? So this gives me F is equal to FH multiplied by R1 over R2. FH we have already calculated earlier. FH is rho G W H squared over 2 multiplied by R1. R1 is this distance here. So this is actually this distance minus YCP. So it is h over 2 minus h over 6 divided by r2. r2 is this distance, it's h over 2. So that gives us rho g w h squared over 2. And this is h over 2 minus h over 6 h over 3 divided by h over 2. So that gives me rho g w h squared over 3. So the force f here we have calculated as now is equal to rho g w h squared over 3. 